Ooh, I definitely just, I not even joking, basically just de-stressed by organizing my Pokemon Go collection. <laughs> I've been doing uh, relatively long morning walks every day while kind of tapping away at that game. And uh, of, of something just to focus on, all my attention on for a bit to get away from this was just appraising all of the new ones to favorite all the ones that have high IVs for future notice and then turning all of the ones into candy that are in, that are inferior. That sure runs like a counter to the whole premise of Pokemon, at least the anime version where it's like, you can, you can do whatever you want, follow your dreams, Pikachu doesn't even have to evolve, it's fine. It, he's still, he'll just get through it all with grit instead, isn't he great? I love you, Pikachu. Uh, it's like, no, you need to have the best genes and be maximum evolved or you suck. That's that's how Pokemon games actually work, uh, despite, you know, the way the other one sounds better. Here we go. Where is it? Where's the one I wanted? I wanted a thing. Right. Vitality on death blow. I don't have this yet. Maximum number of spirit things. I actually need two more points than I thought. Shit! I lost track of that a little bit. It's fine. I want that, though. That seems like it'll be very handy to have. Okay. By the way, don't make bulleted lists that counter-argue against random shit that I yell while I'm frustrated at a game. Uh... It's not a- it's not a video game review, guys. <laughs> like... It's not like I carefully scripted that out and thought about all my points and, and you need to disprove them. It's like, imagine the emotional state I'm in while dealing with this shit and think about how you probably shouldn't generally argue with somebody in that state because, like, they're just often venting and shit because the game is putting you in a state and so on. That always bothers me when people, have, when people have to, like, write an essay about why somebody's wrong about the various random things they yelled while they were frustrated at a boss fight in the game and it's like, dude, read the room. <laughs> that is not... This is- that's not the, the context where someone does that. Well, I unlocked access to this again, but can I- Oh yeah, I got- I got a grapple, so I can just go on up. Neat. There's a little scrap iron. There we go. The abandoned dungeon. God, I have no sense of which places I should be going to first. This is a nice visual, the roots in the mud. Everything about this game is pretty. Oh, this is going to compress super poorly on YouTube. You guys are seeing so many artifacts on the screen right now and like compression squares because it's, it's the whole screen is just gray and there's a there's a, a rippling fog in the background and YouTube does not handle that very well at all. My videos don't look like that when they get rendered and uploaded. They just look like that when they get to you. Oh, I love that visual. The chocolate fountains. I forgot what people actually call them. But it's the chocolate fountains, uh, rock formation sort of thing. It's just the way that the ro the the limestone and whatnot being carried around by the water creates these really beautiful patterns. In particular, I saw one a lot in the Moaning Cavern here in California, where you get to see an up close view of a lot of that stuff. Fuck, what is that? Oh yeah, it's right here too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's the chocolate fountains. Uh, when it gets when it gets wet, it looks like it's not rock. You look it's so shiny and it looks like it's made of like something almost editable when it's the right shade. It's real weird. Looks like a Willy Wonka paradise. God, I don't want to. He's gonna be the worst, isn't he? That's got that's probably another is that another boss? Is that is that another boss already? Is this game just all bosses? Lizard, no. No, 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 no. That must not be poisoned. It's very dark here. I knew they were around because I could hear the little... I could hear that skeleton noise. Was that a, was that a Souls game or... Did, I think that is a Souls game. I think From Software used the sound effect they used for these lizards for skeletons in a previous game. I think that was actually the same series. It's another boss. I could dive down and get another stab on it. 
So, to, to be clear, I got stuck on one boss, pivoted to a different direction, and immediately found another boss without any, any level and enemies in between. Then I go into another direction, after beating that boss, I killed two lizards, basically, and I already said I'm at another boss. I imagine it's maybe not the best plan just to jump at him from here. Even though I could definitely, I could almost certainly get him from here, maybe. And that means, a st yeah, I got a stealth hit. But it also might mean... That bad things happen. Can I go around him? There's an item waiting down there. Another one here. Bulging coin purse. A checkpoint. Not that I need one really that badly, but hey, a checkpoint. Is that a character I can meet, I wonder? I think I can talk to this guy. Oh. Oh. もしや。この どうしたほら、かすかに風に乗り、この先のあの底から調べが聞こえるでござろう。何も聞こえぬ。そうか。あの I wonder if it's possible for me to hear it. Hello. By any chance can I have a seed? My gird? Is this the woman from earlier? Hmm. From software likes their big drops. So if I go in there, it probably takes me to a different level or a boss fight or something. As opposed to just falling to my doom like you usually would. Tons of cairns. And yet a bunch of just exposed human remains just lying about. So many incense. So many incense. Hmm. Is he gonna jump in? Did I see a flicker of a health bar or something? What was that? I might have imagined that. I don't know. 
He's not casting anymore, or whatever he's doing. I can see something, like a line, on the right, next to the... the pillars. Hmm. Now he's back to casting. Curious. What happens when I drop down? Does he instantly notice me? No, he immediately notices me. Shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm not allowed to jump back out either. I think that meter filling up is bad. No. No. God, he does not take damage. And those don't do damage to him, really. Ugh. I don't know what terror does. All I know is this guy doesn't take fucking damage. And he flies. Whoa. He can melee for that much? Okay, well fuck off about that. Dude. And also, I, I don't know what terror does. <laughs> so, it's like terror. I'm like, alright, what does that mean? All right, let's let's test whether this works or not. Yee oh, come on. Oh. Okay, so terror instantly kills you. Apparently. That was a normal jump. I was really close. Let's try running jump. Yeah. Ah, come on. Ah, crap. I clicked too fast. My bad. Dragon rot. Everybody you love will die. If you love anybody, I guess. Abandoned dungeon, bottomless hole. So it's another new zone. Things are forking. I didn't- I got a little controller confused. Cause at that point I need to hold B, then hold B to run, jump with A, or click right stick to lock on, right bumper to attack, is what the sequence I need to do. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so no, he's immune to back- he's immune to, uh, that. Does he count as spectral? Maybe I'm supposed to use my anti-spectral item. Divine confetti?
Oh my god, Terra takes a while to wear it out. We're off. Shit. Jeez. Well, my confetti's not run out yet, so let's keep going. Nope. Oh, what? I wall jumped and it still tracked me. Jeez. Where is it? Where did it even go? There he is. And it wore off. All right. Good experiment, I suppose. Uh, let's spare them the dragon rod, I guess. Okay. So yes, the confetti makes you do way more damage to him, but still, it's a it's a problem. <laughs> and I uh, I don't like th I don't like thinking about this fight now already. Because, like, he's a really weird thing to fight. That's going to be a problem. Try and chase a floating guy that shoots projectiles they have to run away from and so on while using an item that has a time limit before it wears off and so on. And then the Defined Confetti, like, can I buy that anywhere? I don't know if I know a place where, where I can buy that. But, like, that's the kind of thing where, like, I, I need that item in order to have a good chance at fighting him. But if I run out, then I'm fucked. And... If you can buy it anywhere, you have to buy it via a currency that you constantly also run out of, and every death takes more of it away from you. So, like, I can just run out of supplies, and then I'm, then I'm extra fucked if I got that far in attempts. I just, I, I'm not happy with how this game handles items. I don't know. What's going on? Ah! Okay. <laughs> Definitely had the thought of like, oh, is it just gonna actually- I think it's gonna actually kill me if I fall further. Okay. Let's see. Really cool boss, visually. I'm just stressed out by the thought of using a very limited use item in order to actually have a chance at fighting it. Because I don't know, I was doing like no damage otherwise. What is up with these guys? No. We got bad time zombies. He's not going- he's not dying, is he? Oh, we're doing the undead to get back up thing. Okay. So, good incentive to be in stealth mode around here. You kind of just want them to not see you since they're not going to die anyway. Yeah, I always wonder about that stuff, like you have the... Like you have the special item that you need to fight the ghosts in Dark Souls 1, right? And in many, many, many games, that kind of item would be handled as a permanent upgrade. Like, oh, now you can fight ghosts! But in Dark Souls, it's handled as a limited consumable item that you can run out of. Which is like a weird thing where like... If you're good at the game, the game is easy, and if you're bad at the game, the game only gets harder as a result. Because players that are better at the game will never run out of said curse item, and so the idea that it's a limited use never even really comes into play as a mechanic, because you'll have so many of them that it's not a problem. Just like humanity and all the other mechanics like that. But if you're bad at the game, or you're learning it and struggling and so on, then you get punished by running out of it, 
and now you can't even fight them. And now you're just like, do I have to run through the whole zone, or where do I get more of them? But it's it's an item that's usually like prohibitively expensive or hard to find. And it, it, I always wonder why why selectively punish people that are already struggling when you're not like punish them more than anyone else. It just seems like a weird move to me. Uh, ow. Pacifying agent. Powdered medicine for calming the nerves. Yeah, can I have that for real? In real life? Used by those who deal with unmistakable... Used by those who deal in unspeakable deeds. Reduces terror buildup and increases terror resistance for a time. Gravekeepers, executioners, and memorial, the memorial mob. All who keep death close keep this power closer. Adhering to a simple rule. If seized with fear, cover your rear. <laughs> hey, another one. These are surprisingly common. But yeah, that, that goes hand in hand a little bit with my previous topics I've discussed about how souls are handled, which is that people who struggle more will be losing their souls, whereas players that are doing well and like I do generally, like, in a given playthrough of a Souls game, I tend to lose my souls via dying twice, maybe once per playthrough. And then as a result, people will say that I'm overleveled because I have too, I'm too high level compared to where they were when I got there. And that's why the, like, this level, this fight's easy only because you're overleveled. And I'm like, well, I'm overleveled because I don't lose my souls. I never farmed. I'd have the intended number of souls, presumably. But it's hard to tell because maybe they intend you to lose them. Just from souls to humanity to consumables to healing items to shurikens and whatnot, the people who need them the most are the ones who have the least of them, and the people who need them the least have overflowing quantities of them. You don't see me. Wait, did I find the poison swamp? that is always in these games? Is that what just happened? Did I, have I found it? No! Snake Eyes Shirahagi! Yup, it's the Poison Swamp. Yellow gunpowder. Amber-colored grains forming the base for a powder, powerful gunpowder. A precious commodity only found in the Sunken Valley. Used for explosive prosthetic tool upgrades for of intermediate and higher rank. The yield from yellow powder is greater than that of black, lending to the valley to stronghold defenses of their fiery vigor. Ugh, another mid mini boss. Ah! Uh, ow. Wow. Uh oh. Alright. I just wanted to try going over there if I could. Uh, at least the soul guy was a proper boss, right? This guy's a mini boss. Or well, that's, I don't know, it's hard to define, honestly. Uh, I just wanted to go up there. <laughs> I can't do it. No. Oop. Try and time it between the attacks. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Scrap magnetite. He's gonna kill the shit out of me. If I'm lucky, maybe he's not that hard to fight. Once you get to him. Maybe the ranged super attacks are the basis of his challenge. Boy, I wish I didn't just unlock an uh, aggro another guy with a gun. <laughs> really wanted to sneak up on him if I could. He's attacking me through the wall! Ow! Oh, you attacked me through a wall. That is a hot, steaming pile of nonsense. He definitely just hid behind a wall and shot me through it. That's like some... that's just hot bullshit. Uh, I'm gonna leave. We'll leave it there as an option. 
maybe I can beat my head against it and beat it, but, uh, I'm definitely continually sus- Oh god, we unlocked another zone? Is there only one teleport spot in the dungeon, or was there other places to go? I don't know. Using. But I, yeah, I'm definitely thinking I'm off course, and this is like higher zone level zones. Mainly because the game is straight up saying, like, these upgrade items are for higher level items. I'm like, interesting. <laughs> interesting that you came out and said that. Uh... Da, 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 da. I'm gonna give it a go. I have a damage upgrade and two gourd upgrades. I'm not any more powerful than I was when I first defeated the horse guy, but that was the main upgrade that made me think maybe I can take her now, because I was getting close-ish. So we'll see. If nothing else, I'll close out this episode with a, with a couple of attempts, and we'll see how that goes. And then I'll maybe go right back to trying other places. But I, I gotta take a look at this periodically. I was getting- I was like 75% of the way there to beating her before. And now I'm stronger. Wow, we opened with that. God damn it. Still mixing my controls up in a really unfortunate way. Ah, shit. This, this has not gone well. They were head on that time.
No. Shit. Oh, that was a bad one? Dude, you mixed signals, because some of these give me an, uh, an item, and some of them are an attack. I shouldn't be able to- I shouldn't be mixing those up, but the game makes them look almost the same. Or maybe the same? I'm not sure. Ah, shit. try that, that went fairly well by the standards of all of the other attempts I've had on against her just die dude hmm. oh wow I thought weaving out of the way would actually make him dodge but she like was guessing where I was going to be. Ah, shit. You know what? Just take me. I don't feel like a, I don't feel good about this attempt. I want to move on. <sighs> Unseen aid. No! Let's just take me. Hmm. Damn it. Alright. <coughs> Am I even doing any better? I feel like I've maybe learned some things about this game, but I, it took me all of my heals to get that far, and I used to get that far- I got that far before without that many heals. Ow, shit. Damn it! I'm getting so frustrated with that. My character doesn't stay above her. He launches off in a weird direction, so I can't do the, ju the jump on him. But it's because, of course, I'm trying to move. That's how you survive in this game. 
But like you have so many actions in this game only work if you don't touch the left joystick at all. But like I can't counter her with the with the the thing that I want to counter her with when she does the sweep attack because I have been tapping the I've been pressing the joystick in some direction. Oh shit! The lock on's gone. Shit. I'm already out of heals. Jesus Christ. I'm somehow getting worse every attempt. <laughs> you can't just do a stealth attack. It'd be pretty funny. <sighs> God damn it. <clears throat> All right, let's move on to something else. I need a break from that again. <laughs> again, again.